Hey Scorpios and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your new moon love reading. Um, we will see what kind of energy we got here with the new moon in Gemini. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Scorpios, from June 13th to the 27th. Spirit Angels, what else do you have for Scorpios in this new moon? Okay, your bottom of the deck is the Four of Swords in reverse, so um, you need to take a step back. Uh, Spirit is calling for you to uh, reevaluate the situation from every angle, to take the time to think things through, um, because you're being guided, but you're not hearing it. Um, this will not be for everybody, obviously it's a general reading, but um, you guys are running on empty you know you need to take it you need to rest it's time to um time to go within because you guys do have a uh relationship coming towards you this is somebody that you have been with in the past um whether it be the past life or this lifetime um they are coming back for you i'm gonna use a different deck. um but you are um, being spiritually guided to walk away from this current relationship that you're in. Uh, it's not serving you. It's not what's best for you. You um, are going to be leaving in the next, you know, in this new moon energy. You're going to be um, walking towards a more fulfillment, a more fulfilled relationship. You're in search of the two of cups. Um, this is walking away from somebody who you have emotionally invested in for a long time. Could be eight years. Um, doesn't have to be, but for a group of you, it is. Um, but you're being spiritually awakened, and you are realizing that there's more out there for you. The person you're connecting with um, is not taking this very well. They are, you know, upset, crying, depressed, anxious about you leaving. Why is it comes here for Scorpio? Your partner that you are um, walking away from, they have regrets about something. Yeah, see, you're walking you're walking towards um, something gifted to you by the universe. You're walking towards a soulmate relationship. Um, and you will be rewarded by the universe. Yeah, and the person that you are connecting with has a six of swords. So they're moving on. Also, uh, they have a lot of emotional baggage from this relationship, which a lot of karmic um, partnerships do. Why is the four of Pentacles here in reverse? But you've been um, you've been very distant to them, anyways, lately. Uh, so they kind of knew this was coming, and that's what all the stress and anxiety was about. Um, while you guys. Yeah, wow. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands. So something very quickly is going to come in for you. This gift from the universe is going to happen very fast. Um, you have been um, holding on tight to your emotions, not investing in them, because for a group of you, you've been seeking a divorce. For another group of you, you feel like this relationship has been out of balance for a long time. <clears throat> you could be connecting with a Libra, but it doesn't have to be. Whatever, whoever you're connecting with, you feel like the karmic scales were out of balance. Um, so you're no longer offering them your time, your emotions, your investment. Um, you are going to walk in a more divinely guided path. Um, you have the Eight of Cups, the Sun, and the Ace of Pentacles here. Definitely being spiritually guided towards a relationship that is from the divine, um, a gift to you. Your partner is moving on, moving forward, but they don't want to be. Um, they feel like um, 
They feel like you are who they wanted to create a life with. You were their Ten of Cups. But in the reverse, they uh, know that that's ending. They are trying to keep this relationship alive. They are not wanting this chapter in their life to end. But um, they're not wanting to move forward. They're not wanting to end this relationship, be single. Um, but you are. You will be leaving, Scorpio. Um, you guys, if this... Uh, if this pertains to you, you know it already. You are already in the works of moving on. Um, it's time to cut this uh, energy loose. It's time to... Um, yeah. That was way too many. I'm going to reshuffle because I was trying to listen to spirit. Um, there is somebody waiting for you already. You, you may not know this, but once you leave this energy, once you leave this person for good, that person's going to come in very quickly, like lightning quick. What's your advice for Scorpios? There we go. Yeah, so somebody is wearing a false mask. I believe that is, for a group of you, that's your partner. For a group of you, that's you. You are pretending like this relationship is okay, even though you want to leave. Um... So it's time to, to cut this person loose if that's how you feel. Also, for another group of you, this is the person that you are with. They are pretending like um, nothing is wrong. They are putting on a show to the outside world even though um, they know it's over as well because they don't want to admit defeat. Um, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You have to be guided by your passion to um, let it be known what it is that you want. You have the you have the ace of wands here on the bottom. So follow your heart, follow your joy, and in turn your life will be filled with many, many, many blessings from the universe. You just have to um, release this energy that's that's deceiving you. Whether that's you deceiving yourself from happiness or your partner deceiving everybody, you know, pretending like nothing is wrong. Um your advice card for the next two weeks. Spirit Angel, can I get an advice card? It's the Ace of Wands. Look at that. Follow your passion. Your passion is what will guide you. Your passion is what will lead you to pure happiness and um, financial abundance and security. Some of you are scared to follow this. You're worried you aren't going to make it. You're worried you're going to financially struggle. It's going to be okay. The Divine is going to take care of you. So... Your advice for the next two weeks is to start new, start fresh, follow your passion, and lead with your heart, and you will be successful. So Scorpios, I hope you enjoyed your new moon reading. I will see you next time. God bless.